Here with UWL head gymnastics coach Casey Crawford as we preview the 2023 NCGA championships. They're scheduled for this Saturday over at Winona State University. Coach, first before we talk about the national meet, let's talk about uh, the conference championship in the West Regional. Finished second as a team uh, and qualified as a team for that by finishing that second. Let's talk about that meet. Yeah, it was really crazy because the meet format's different. We warm up an event and then we compete it. You kind of go that way through the whole meet. And we had our top, one of our top all-arounders get a concussion in warm-ups. And she tried it, we didn't know it at the time, but so she tried to do her first event and it, it was a little crazy. So we had to substitute her on all the other events. And so we were so proud because we had two freshmen and one of our transfers step up into those roles and they all hit. We didn't count a fall after that situation. And so you just, you couldn't ask for more. Like we were so thrilled with how they did. We're hungry for more. We know we can do even better. And so that's what we're excited for heading into nationals. Talk about that format because you'll do the same thing, right? This it's week. a little different. It's a little, nationals is yep. a super six. So we do yep. have some buys. So we start at vault. We got Olympic rotation, which is great for us. Um, so we'll go vault and then we'd be on a buy and then compete bars beam and then another buy. And we end on floor in the final rotation with those top teams. You uh, competed last year, of course, at national championships. What have you told? You've got some uh, athletes coming back who have competed at yep. the national level at the yep. at that meet, but you have some new ones as well. Yep. What do you tell your newcomers <laughs> yep. that have learned maybe from your returners? Yeah, for sure. I think what we're most excited about is that we do finally have the experience coming in. With COVID in the last couple of years, last year felt like it was brand new. Like almost all of them, it was their first experience. This year, we do have those upperclassmen that have been tremendous leaders. I mean, our senior class is just outstanding. Our juniors are awesome. And they just bring that like comfort to our freshmen and sophomores that they can do this. You know, like just that belief system. We've talked a lot about this year of having goals, not expectations. So we are going in with a mission. We want to win a national championship, but we're not having unhealthy expectations in that. It's about being our best selves and beating lacrosse every time we go out there. Your keys this week to succeed and to win that national title, what are those keys? Definitely, you gotta hit. I mean, there are some really strong teams. It's like, you gotta hit your routines to the best of your capabilities. And for us, I always think it comes down to being a team. Like, how bad do you want it? What's your desire? And just come together as a team and give it everything you got. Um, let's talk about the season in general from the start of uh, December when you had your inner squad to now we're in late March, just where your team has progressed throughout the year. We have like progressed so much. I mean, at our first meet, we really struggled at the balance beam and we were trying to figure out what the correct lineups were on that event. And we became undefeated in the regular season. That's been the first time we've done that since I think 2018. So we were really proud. What it did was it showed us that we can do this, like that belief system that we are good enough. And um, so we've just learned so much about the consistency that we need and the expectations, goals that we go into it. Um, and that's really helped us. Uh, Stout and Oshkosh join you from the West Regional. Uh, and then Brockport, Springfield, or Ithaca on the E. What do you expect at the national level in terms of the competition? I mean, of course, Oshkosh won the conference title, but what yep. do you expect from them and the teams from out east as well? Hands down, all six teams are great. I mean, we're all very similar. Obviously, us, Oshkosh, and Brockport have scored the most similarly. Um, it could be anyone's day, but I say, man, we lacrosse has a chance. We're, we're great, too. So I think you're going to just see a great competition. And, and the Hall of Fame will be, uh, as we've already announced that, of course, led by uh, Barb Gibson, a yep. longtime coach here. Just talk about what it means for the program, not just, of course, Barb, but also some individuals that finally get inducted yep. this year. It's amazing to have lacrosse alumni in the Hall of Fame. All those, the athletes and Barb just deserve this recognition so much. I know they're so excited to come to the banquet and to the meet and be recognized um, for all that they did. And just means so much to lacrosse gymnastics and what they, what they did. Thanks, Coach, and good luck. Thank you.